Hi students. Yesterday we discussed the domain and the range of the trigonometric functions. Here it is function domain range function sin x or sin theta. Domain is set of all real numbers. Sin function domain is set of all real numbers. A range is you know minus 1 to 1 closed interval. And a cos function means suppose cos theta. Domain is R. A range minus 1 comma 1. Next to tan theta. R minus 2n plus 1 into pi by 2, where n belongs to z. n belongs to z. So, for odd multiples of pi by 2, tan function not defined. Tan pi by 2, tan 3 pi by 2, tan 5 pi by 2, plus or minus. For these values, tan function not defined. Range is set of all real numbers. Next to cot theta domain that means what cot function domain set of all real numbers except n pi where n belongs to z that means what cot 0 cot pi cot plus or minus 2 pi cot of plus or minus 3 pi for these values the function is not defined so domain is except these that is r minus n pi means what theta is equal to n pi r minus theta is equal to n pi where n belongs to an integers a range is set of all real numbers next to secant theta this is also same as r minus this is 2n plus 1 into pi by 2 where n belongs to n belongs to z you know that cos pi by 2 cos 90 is 0 but a secant 90 not defined so that means what odd multiples of pi by 2 this is not defined so except these values set of all real numbers except these values the function is defined and the range is you know minus infinity comma minus 1 union 1 comma infinity that is the range same as cosecant theta see here r minus this is n pi where n belongs to n belongs to z sin 0 is 0 cosecant 0 not defined sin pi value 0 sin 2 pi value 0 sin 3 pi value 0 so cosecant pi not defined cosecant 2 pi not defined so r minus n pi where n belongs to z and the range is minus infinity comma minus 1 union 1 comma infinity 1 comma infinity so this is the domain and range So write one problem. The set of values of A the values of A for which the function for which sin theta is equal to a minus 4 by 3 is valid sin function range is what minus 1 to 1 sin function range since we know that minus 1 less than or equal to sin theta less than or equal to 1 that is minus 1 less than or equal to sin theta a minus 4 by 3 
is less than or equal to 1. Multiplying by 3, minus 3, less than or equal to a minus 4, less than or equal to 3. So, minus 3, adding completely 4, because we have to discuss about a values, the values of a, a, for which sin theta equal to a minus 4 by 3 is valid. So, plus 4, less than or equal to a minus 4 plus 4, less than or equal to 3 plus 4. So, 1 less than or equal to a less than or equal to 7. Therefore, a belongs to the 1 comma 7. If a belongs to 1 comma 7, so this has a solution. For other values, it is not possible. So, I will give you some problems. You try yourself. Sin theta is equal to 2x minus 3 by 5. E is valid. Has a solution. Then, x belongs to. Second question. Cos theta is equal to a minus 7 by 4 as a solution then a belongs to third one cos theta is equal to 3 minus a by 2 then has a solution then a belongs to the sin theta is equal to 2x plus <coughs> 4 <coughs> 4 by 5 as a solution then x belongs to you have to find these points these problems since the value lies between minus 1 and 1 this also minus 1 and 1 minus 1 and 1 minus 1 and 1 so you get the values of a x is here a values a values and x values Next one, If sin theta comma cos theta are the roots of roots of the equation px square plus qx plus r is equal to 0, then q square minus p square is equal to equal to first option 2 pr minus 2 pr minus 2 pq 2 pq cos theta and sin theta are the roots of this equation if alpha and beta are the roots of the equation ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 what is sum of the roots alpha plus beta equal to minus b by a product of roots is c by a that is the formula you know this if alpha comma beta are the roots of ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 then sum of the roots alpha plus beta equal to minus b by a and alpha beta equal to c by a you know the two results like here sin theta and cos theta are the roots of the equation therefore sum of the roots equal to 
Sum of roots means what? Sin theta plus cos theta is equal to minus b by a. That is minus q by p. And the product of roots. Product of roots means what? Sin theta into cos theta is equal to c by a r by this is r by p now for the first result this one squaring on both sides this one so this is sin theta plus cos theta whole square is equal to minus q by p whole square so this is a square plus b square plus 2ab is equal to minus q whole square means what q square by p square so this is 1 plus 2 into sin theta into cos theta is r by p so this is r by p is equal to q square by p square now taking LCM, so this is here, P is LCM, P LCM, so this is P square, P square plus 2R is equal to Q square by P square, so P, 1P gets cancelled, that is equal to P square p square plus 2r is equal to q by p square q q square by so this is p q square by p so this is a small mistake by taking l7 this becomes only p p so this is p plus so p plus 2r is equal to q square by p cross multiplication p into p plus 2r is equal to q square so p square plus 2p r is equal to q square now the given question is what q square minus p square so 2p r is equal to q square take that side minus p square Therefore, p square, q square minus p square is equal to 2pr. So, this is the correct answer. Okay, try it down. Next one. Now prove that <coughs> 2 into sin power 6 theta plus cos power 6 theta minus 3 into sin power 4 theta plus cos power 4 theta plus 1 is equal to 0. Now, by taking first result, consider only this part. Sin power 6 theta plus cos power 6 theta is equal to this right sin square theta whole cube plus cos square theta whole cube. Now we have a formula a cube plus b cube. 
वट इज द फार्मूला फॉर ए प्लस बी होल क्यूब ए प्लस बी होल क्यूब इज इक्वल टू ए क्यूब प्लस बी क्यूब प्लस थ्री ए बी इंटू ए प्लस ए प्लस बी नौ फॉर दिस देर फोर ए क्यूब प्लस बी क्यूब इज इक्वल टू ए प्लस बी होल क्यूब माइनस थ्री ए बी इंटू ए प्लस बी सो अनदर फार्म इज आलो देर फॉर ए क्यूब प्लस बी क्यूब सो दिस इज ए प्लस बी इंटू ए स्क्वे माइनस ए बी प्लस बी स्क्वे दिस इज आलो ए फार्मुला सो इफ रईट दिस वन सो द प्रॉब्लम यू गेट वेरी ईजीली सो दट वाई एम अप्लाइंग दिस वन दट इज ईक्वल टू ए क्यू प्लस बी क्यू मीन ए प्लस बी होल क्यू दट इज ईक्वल टू सैन स्क्वे थीटा प्लस का स्क्वे थीटा होल क्यू मैनस थ्री ए बी थ्री इंटू सैन स्क्वे थीटा इंटू का स्क्वे थीटा इंटू ए प्लस बी दिस इज ए दिस इज बी टू सैन स्क्वे थीटा प्लस का स्क्वे थीटा विच इज दिस वैल्यू इज वन वन क्यूब इज वन माइनस थ्री सैन स्क्वे थीटा इंटू का स्क्वे थीटा अफकोर्स इट इज वन नाउ अगेन यू कैन कंसिडर दिस सेकेंड पार्ट सेकेंड पार्ट इज दिस इज अइन पवर फोर थीटा प्लस का पवर फोर थीटा इज ईक्वल टू दिस आलो यू रईट सैन स्क्वे थीटा होल स्क्वे प्लस का स्क्वे थीटा होल स्क्वे नौ यू हेव द फार्मुला ए प्लस बी होल स्क्वे इज ईक्वल टू ए स्क्वे प्लस बी स्क्वे प्लस टू ए बी टू ए बी नौ ए स्क्वे प्लस बी स्क्वे इज ईक्वल टू ए प्लस बी होल स्क्वे माइनस टू ए बी माइनस टू ए बी नौ ऐम अप्लाइंग दिस फार्मुला सो दिस इज ए दिस इज बी ए स्क्वे प्लस बी स्क्वे विच इज ईक्वल टू ईक्वल टू सैन स्क्वे थीटा प्लस का स्क्वे थीटा होल स्क्वे माइनस टू सैन स्क्वे थीटा इंटू का स्क्वे थीटा ए प्लस बी होल स्क्वे माइनस टू ए बी सो दिस इज वन वन स्क्वे इज वन वन माइनस टू सैन स्क्वे थीटा इंटू का स्क्वे थीटा ओके नौ वी हेव टू वैल्यूज दिस पार्ट एंड आलो दिस पार्ट नौ वी आर टेकिंग एल हेच एस एंड इन प्लेस आफ इन प्लेस यू सब्सिट्यूटिंग दिस वैल्यू and in place of this substituting this value so you get the answer now i am taking lhs lhs what lhs is what 2 into so sin power 6 theta plus cos power 6 theta which is the value is 1 minus 3 sin square theta cos square theta minus 3 into 1 minus 2 sin square theta cos square theta plus 1 plus 1 if you are multiplying so this is a 2 minus a 6 sin square theta cos square theta minus 3 plus 6 sin square theta into cos square theta plus 1 so these two gets cancel 2 plus 1 3 3 minus 3 is 0 so this is equal to rhs okay write down
Next one, you try one problem. Prove that same model problem you try yourself. So this is 3 into sin x minus cos x whole power 4. plus 6 into 6 into sin x plus cos x sin x plus cos x whole square plus 4 into sin power which is 6x sin power 6x plus cos power 6x is equal to 13. So this you write sin x minus cos x whole square whole square. For this part you write so this is sin x this part sin x minus cos x whole square and whole square. So this is a square plus b square minus 2ab. That means what? Sin square x plus cos square x 1 minus 2 sin x into cos x whole square. Again this is a minus b whole square form. This is as usual this now only we have discussed. So by solving this we get 13 just to try yourself next one If sin theta 1 plus sin theta 2 plus sin theta 3 is equal to 3, then cos theta 1 plus cos theta 2 plus cos theta 3 is equal to sin theta 1 you know the range of sine function is minus 1 to 1 maximum value is 1 so this maximum value is also 1 this maximum value is also 1 okay that means what if you take person a person b person c marks total marks 300 suppose you can take the mathematics paper maximum mark is 100 marks Okay, total maximum marks in mathematics maximum mark is 100 marks. Maximum marks 100. So sum of three persons marks is 300 marks. Means what? Each one 100 marks, 100 marks, 100 marks. Is it possible this person got 150, 150 plus 0? Not possible. Why? Because the paper contains the highest mark is 100 marks. <laughs> so if A plus B plus C, three persons A, B, C, A person, B person, C person, their sum is 300 marks. Months. Each person gets 100 marks, 100 plus 100 plus 100, then only it is 300. At the same time, the, the A got 200 marks, B got 100 marks, C got 0 marks, not possible. Why? Because maximum mark is 100 marks only. Like this also, here, the range of sine maximal is what? 1. Maximal is what? 1. Maximal is what? 1. So, it is compulsory sin theta is equal to 1 and sin theta 2 is also 1. Sin this is also equal to equal to 1. So, that is 1 only. It is possible. It is not possible for this he got 2 marks, he got 1 mark, 
this person got zero marks not possible because the range of sine function is what minus 1 to 1 implies what about theta 1 is equal to theta 2 is equal to theta 3 is equal to 90 degrees so theta 1 is 90 sin 90 1 sin 90 1 sin 90 1 1 plus 1 plus 1 that is 3 implies what about this one cos theta 1 cos theta 1 plus cos theta 2 plus cos theta 3 is equal to so theta 1 pi by 2 cos pi by 2 0 cos pi by 2 0 cos pi by 2 is 0 okay so from this we conclude that note if sin theta 1 plus sin theta 2 plus sin theta 3 plus and so on sin theta n is equal to n I am taking 3, 1, 2, 3, total is 3. I am taking n, total is n. Implies what? Implies sin theta 1 is equal to sin theta 2 is equal to and so on, equal to sin theta n is equal to 1. Then only it is possible. Okay. Similarly, The range of the cos function is also you know that. So this is the first point and second point. If cos theta 1 is equal to plus cos theta 2 plus cos theta 3 plus and so on cos theta n is equal to n. The maximum value of cos is also 1. So this is 1, this is 1, this is 1, 1 plus 1 plus 1 up to n times that is n implies cos theta 1 is equal to cos theta 2 is equal to cos theta 3 and also equal to cos theta n is equal to 1. Each one is equal to 1 only it is possible. Okay. Now, trigonometric ratios of, see here, this is first quadrant. So, this is what? So, this is angle is 90 degrees. So, this is 90 minus theta. So, okay, now, theta, theta is what? Theta lies between 0 and 90 degrees. So, this is second quadrant means what? 90 plus theta and 180 degrees minus theta. That is second quadrant. 90 plus means what? So up to this is 90 degrees. 90 plus means what? This is second quadrant. 180 minus means what? Second quadrant. 180 means exactly this is the line. So angle is total angle this is 180 degrees. 180. 180 minus means what? So that may be this is like this. Second quadrant is 90 plus theta 180 minus theta. What about third quadrant? 180 plus theta. This is 180 and this is 90. Total is 270. That is 270 minus theta. 270 plus means what? Fourth quadrant. 270 plus theta and this is a 360 degrees minus theta. 360 minus theta. So this total is what? So this is 90, 90, 90 and 90. 360. 360 minus means so here this one. And 360 plus is again comes to 360 degrees plus theta. Again this is first quadrant. Provided where theta lies between 0 to 90 degrees. 0 to 90 degrees. Suppose if you take theta is equal to 100 degrees, that means what again this comes to this place. So that is theta lies between 0 to 90 degrees, where 0 less than theta less than 90, 90 degrees. That is the meaning. Okay. Now the trigonometric ratios of this is 90 minus theta. Trigonometric ratios of 
ratios of this. Now come to sin of 90 minus theta is equal to sin 90 minus theta means first quadrant. 90 minus is always first quadrant. For sin you get cos, for cos you get sin. Okay, na? this is cos theta and cos of 90 minus theta is equal to sin theta and tan of 90 minus theta is equal to cot theta and cot of 90 degrees minus theta is equal to tan theta and secant of 90 degrees minus theta is equal to cosecant theta and cosecant of 90 degrees minus theta is equal to secant theta. So for 90 degrees and 270 degrees, 90 and 270, sin becomes cos, cos becomes a sin, tan becomes cot, cot becomes tan like this. For negative or positive depends on the quadrant. Okay. Next term. Trigonometric ratios of 90 plus theta. Sin of 90 degrees plus theta is equal to sin 90 plus second quadrant. In second quadrant, you know this all silver T cups. All, all trigonometric ratios are positive. In second quadrant, only sin and cosecant are positive. In third quadrant, cot and tan are positive. In fourth quadrant, cos and secant are positive. Okay. This is second quadrant. So, this is plus cos theta and cos of 90 degrees plus theta is equal to second quadrant cos negative. So, minus sin theta and tan of 90 degrees plus theta is equal to second quadrant tan is negative. So, minus cot theta and cot of 90 degrees plus theta that equal to minus tan theta because second quadrant cot negative. Next row, secant of 90 degrees plus theta that is secant is a negative in second quadrant that is minus cosecant theta and cosecant of 90 degrees plus theta that equal to that is cosecant is positive in second quadrant therefore this is plus secant theta that means in second quadrant only sine and cosecant are positive the remaining are negative And next term, trigonometric ratios of sin of 180 degrees minus theta. 180 degrees minus means what? That is second quadrant. Second quadrant only sin and cosecant are positive. The remaining are negative. For 180, sin becomes a sin, cos becomes a cos, tan becomes a tan. Either it is positive or negative depends on the quadrant. That is equal to second quadrant sin positive. So, this is sin theta cos of 180 degrees minus theta second quadrant cos negative minus cos theta tan of 180 degrees minus theta is equal to minus tan theta because second quadrant tan negative. Next term cot of 180 degrees minus theta is minus cot theta. Next to secant of 180 degrees minus theta is equal to minus secant theta and cosecant of 180 degrees minus theta is equal to plus cosecant theta because second quadrant only sin and cosecant are positive.
and the remaining are negative. Next to sin of 180 degrees plus theta. 180 plus theta means what? Which quadrant? 180 plus theta. That is third quadrant. Third quadrant only tan and cot are positive. And the remaining are negative. So sin is negative in third quadrant. Minus sin theta. Cos of 180 degrees plus theta. That is minus cos theta tan of 180 degrees plus theta that equal to tan theta because third quadrant tan is positive so tan becomes tan next to cot of 180 degrees plus theta is equal to this is cot theta secant of 180 degrees plus theta that is equal to minus secant theta because third quadrant secant is negative in third quotient only these two are positive cosecant of 180 degrees plus theta that equal to minus cosecant theta Next one, trigonometric ratios of this is a sine of 270 degrees minus theta. Sine 270 minus theta means third quadrant. Third quadrant only tan and cot are positive and the remaining are negative. So for 270 degrees, sine becomes cos. So this is minus cos theta cos of 270 degrees minus theta is equal to minus sin theta tan of 270 degrees minus theta is equal to this is cot theta because third quadrant tan is positive and the cot of 270 degrees minus theta is equal to tan theta this is also positive these two are positive in third quadrant secant of 270 degrees minus theta equal to minus cosecant theta because it is a negative and the cosecant of 270 degrees minus theta is equal to minus secant theta because these are negative in third quadrant Next term, trigonometric ratios of sine of 270 degrees plus theta. Sine 270 plus theta means the fourth quadrant. In fourth quadrant, only cos and secant are positive and the remaining are negative. So, sine of 270 plus theta is minus cos theta. Cos of 270 degrees plus theta is equal to plus cos theta because it is positive and tan of 270 degrees plus theta is equal to minus cot theta so fourth quadrant it is a negative cot of 270 degrees plus theta is equal to minus tan theta and the secant of 270 degrees plus theta is equal to cosecant theta because it is positive secant is positive in fourth quadrant and the cosecant of 270 degrees plus theta is equal to minus secant theta it is also negative
and next to 360 minus theta means which also lies in that is fourth quadrant sine of 360 degrees minus theta is equal to 360 minus means what that is a fourth quadrant fourth quadrant only cos and secant cos and uh, secant are positive and the remaining are negative so for this sine 360 minus theta is minus sine theta cos of 360 degrees minus theta is equal to cos theta because cos is positive in fourth quadrant tan of 360 degrees minus theta equal to minus tan theta and cot of 360 degrees minus theta is equal to minus cot theta and the secant of 360 degrees minus theta is equal to secant theta because this is positive these two are positive in fourth quadrant and the cosecant of 360 degrees minus theta is equal to minus cosecant theta And next term sine of 360 degrees plus theta 360 plus theta means what first quadrant so first quadrant all trigonometric ratios are positive provided where theta lies between theta is 0 lies between 0 to 90 degrees only so this is what sine theta and this is cos of 360 degrees plus theta equal to cos theta because all are positive in first quadrant tan of 360 degrees plus theta is equal to tan theta cot of 360 degrees plus theta is equal to cot theta secant of 360 degrees plus theta is equal to secant theta and the cosecant of 360 degrees plus theta is equal to cosecant theta. So these identities are very important while solving the problems. Okay, thank you.